Hey guys, how's it going? And today we're going to be going over custom model data. And uh, if you didn't notice, so here's a carrot on a stick. Here's also a carrot on a stick. Here's also a carrot on a stick. And uh, I can give myself a carrot on a stick that's damaged. And it still looks like a carrot on a stick. So how do I get these to look different without editing the damage? And that's what we're basically going over. So you want to pop into a resource pack. I'm assuming you guys know how to get to resource packs. Uh, you want to open your resource pack, whatever one you're using. I'm using this one. And then you go to Assets, Minecraft, then you pop into Models, Item. Uh, you can only do this with items, I'm pretty sure. And then you want to create a JSON file for that item, or you want to just... Uh, so you want to create a JSON file, or you want to just open a JSON file you already have. Maybe you have something doing damages. And then I will have something in the description that you can copy-paste. And it's pretty similar to the way the damages works. Actually, I have a damage one here that you can compare to. So here you go, item, parent, texture, layer, parent, texture, layer. The difference is the overrides, overrides, predicate, predicate. Instead of putting damage, you put custom model data there. I could literally just change this to custom model data and it would start doing it. But this number also needs to be changed. So the advantage over custom model data instead of damages is that you can have damages for each of your models, which is awesome. And you don't have to get these really specific, really obscure numbers that depend on what item it is. So here I have a bunch of things. You can put anything you want. So that's what I use to organize stuff. So um, I have a key that lets me know. Um, but this digit right here determines whether the model is for a pack-a-punch or not so if it's zero it's not pack-a-punch if it's one it's pack-a-punch that's just my own project uh, and then these two digits here tell me what gun it is zero one is ak stuff zero two is dsr stuff so if you just want to see it in effect so once you and this thing here these things here don't actually have to be models this refers to a model um, you're going to want to send it to another model but it doesn't have to be a model per se you can just make it a uh, JSON file that refers to a texture um, instead of a physical like 3D model. Um, so you can go, hmm, I don't think I have any that just refer to a texture, but you could just make it refer to a texture instead of, um, if you want it to be a default game thing, you can just refer to, uh, as you see here, I do item slash carrot on a stick. It'll just make it the default carrot on a stick item. So as you can see in game, I can have damages on this AK that show uh, that do not that are not determined by the um the damage anyways that's pretty much all i want to show you guys it's really quick really easy you can add more of them you can have as many numbers as you want and you can do this to as many items as you want not to do it in game you have to do give appy carrot on a stick and it's very straightforward custom model data and you put the number one zero 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 one zero one will be AK, and there you go. I have an AK right here. Uh, and then if I change the number, it will give me the pack a punch. Uh, that gave me a grenade. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, you'll. I'm still. I'm still working on organizing my data pack, but you get the point. It's 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 a thing. There you go. It gives me a different skin for the AK, and uh, so on and so on. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Very very simple. Um, I'll just show some extra stuff at the end of what I have, what I'm working on and what I have done. Uh, there will be an IP that you can go to to play the beta of the server if you wanted. Of course, as you can see from this, I'm remaking the entire thing, um, all the all of the, all the code for the thing, um, for 1.14 because there's a lot of cool things in 1.14 you can do. For example, I can shoot this guy, and you can see the numbers popping up, and those numbers are actually variable, and they're coming from this sign. And uh, whatever the sign says, that's what the numbers say. And the sign says whatever uh, specific value I tell it, which is uh, pretty freaking cool. And then here's my snipe butter. A boop, a boop. Anyway, very uh, cool stuff. And then I also, if you didn't notice, I have multiple uh, hitboxes for the zombie, so it does more damage at different places. Anyways, I'll be showing a short little montage uh, just to make this video a little longer. Anyways, see you guys. Peace.